One thing's for sure, Errol Spence is in shape. Hey, stop that cat. Man down. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I made a separate video. This is why you guys gotta hit the subscribe button. Ryan Garcia announced and confirmed he said he had some big news that he does. He confirmed he is working with Derek James, who is a great trainer with a unified and an undisputed champion and a future champion in Frank Martin. Ryan Garcia made this announcement. For more on that, check that video. Now, the thing I noticed about Errol Spence, he's kind of sneaky these days. Ryan posted these pictures. And one thing I noticed, Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew. Why well, give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Don't know Errol Spence's next fight. We do know he's in deep negotiations with Terrence Bud Crawford. We'll see what happens there. But Errol's being sneaky. I looked at these pictures Ryan posted, and Errol's in the gym maintaining his weight. The boy is in shape. I can tell from these pictures. I got the ego, ego eye, and you love to see it. Shout out to Errol Spence. Errol Spence has done past interviews and podcasts where he told the world that he had, before big fights, gained so much weight, way more than the welterweight division. If I recall correctly, he said he weighed upwards of like 185, close to 190, before Sean Porter and Mikey Garcia fights, despite looking good in those fights and having classic fights there, that is something he needed to maintain. And after that car wreck, I feel like Errol Spence has been more reserved, more like kind of like a family man, stay out the way. You might be able to catch him at some fights, but he's maintaining his weight and that's what I like to see. I tell you guys all the time, these fighters have a window, a shelf life. Boxing, for the most part, it's kind of like acting. It's a young man's game. You have a leading actor or a comedic star in the 90s. That don't mean in the 2000s and late 2000s, that's going to be the same person because they'll find and replace that heartthrob with the younger, you know, person that the girls like or whatever the situation may be. Boxing, too, is a young man's game. And you kind of got to get in, get your shekel, get your coin and kind of have an exit strategy. So I, I do wish Errol Spence had his fight announced. To me, I think if the Crawford fight takes a bit longer, then he might as well just fight Keith Thurman or move on with his career, even though I want to see the undisputed fight. But I like to see that Errol Spence is staying ready so he don't have to get ready. In the words of Sugar Free, you don't want to have a fat camp. You know, I know enough fighters and trainers and stuff to know that you don't want to have a fat camp. What a fat camp is, is you have to have like a pre-camp because you're trying to hit the weight and the target weight. And you've gone so far over that weight that you need to reel it back in. So before you can even get to the sparring and stuff, you have to get in like workable shape so you can actually do stuff. So it's just you're shooting yourself in the foot. And the fighters like Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward, who stayed disciplined year round, Terrence Crawford is another one who Errol Spence may fight. Hopefully he fights. Right. It's just a bad look because the gym rats, they they usually that's a good thing. You know, that's a good thing because now you can have a, a camp specific to your opponent, especially in big fights. And I so I like to see Gervonta Davis for the Ryan Garcia fight and his past recent fight, Hector Luis Garcia. He seemed very locked in where some people were saying earlier in his career when he was missing weight in a couple fights, he said they were saying that he's the next Adrian Broner and he's undisciplined. So it's good that he had the right team and the right people in his ear. And it, he's brought that all the way back. Shout out to Errol Spence. Looking at these new pictures, it's apparent that he's maintaining his weight and staying ready for the date. If you need a way to watch the Devin Haney versus Vasil Lomachenko undisputed fight this weekend. Use the link in my description. When you guys click that link, it costs you nothing extra, but it does go to help the channel so I can continue to put out the best content. I'm the best in the business. 
Use my link for Haney versus Lomachenko. If you plan on getting the fight this weekend, it goes a long way when you guys do that. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Ego Weight Watchers, Errol Spence is in shape. I like the addition of Ryan Garcia in the gym. I think he needs a teacher and a mentor like Derrick James who is not going to play around. He's not going to sugarcoat, things like that. I think that's great for Ryan Garcia. But for more on that, browse around the channel. I made a separate video about that. Ryan joining the Derrick James DJ gym. Let me know what you guys think of Errol Spence. Will he fight Terrence Crawford? What do you think about the shape? I've shown you. Now you guys leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I'm out.